Hi, Bill. Hello. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Kang. I'm software engineer at Cybazen, and uh, I'm maintainer of my CD project. Uh, my talk today is about the effective centric CD pipeline we call it by CD, and uh, some latest update from the project. And um, for people who new to PyCD, basically PyCD does uh, what Flux CD and Argo CD do for the Kubernetes. For Kubernetes. And the good point is, it's not just like that. It's done for the other platform as well. Um, it's a GitOps style continuous delivery platform that provides the consistent deployment and uh, operation experience for any application platform. And uh, it's an CNCF sandbox project from last year, and uh, we are quite new here. The latest release version uh, is uh, 0 0.46. And um, in abstraction, uh, PyCD has two components, uh, the control plane and the reason we call it PipeD. The control plane is a central uh, component managing the deployment data, provides the ZRPC API for connecting to the PipeD agent, as well as the web facility of the PyCD UI. Uh, why PyD is a single binary component, uh, you run it as an agent to handle the deployment task. Um, since it's a single binary, you can uh, have it uh, run as process in your port, uh, or as a serverless task handler, or whenever you want. The PyCD architects uh, have separate the work space for platform team and uh, deployment team. The platform team can focus on maintaining the control plane, while the developer team who understands the application can uh, has the responsibility for installing the PipeD agent along with the application and define the way the application should be deployed. Uh, for more about PyPCD internal, uh, please check the official site at PyCD.dev. Uh, I leave the QR code there. And um, PyCD has three remarkable strong points. The first one is uh, is multi provider multi tenancy support at my. Um, as I mentioned, PyCD does what Flux and Argo do for Kubernetes, for Kubernetes and other application platform as well. So um, it's designed also to easy operating multi cluster system. The second point is the reason of PyPD only make our request and uh, install in cluster that running your application. No client or share outside the cluster that uh, reduce the risk of security. And uh, last one is also uh, designed to work with multi application from multi project in scale organization. Um, in our use case, uh, my company has one centric by CD that handle over 3,000 applications with thousands of deployment per day cross environment uh, with only single centric control plane. Uh, next, I uh, will share a little bit more about the latest update from Posex. Uh, the first one is the new PyCD state named Script Run. Um, I think it's not really news, uh, I know. And um, basically, PyCD idea is to provide a set of predefined state that's uh, customizable with, op with customizable options so that the user can use the progressive delivery process quickly and effectively. Um, with those state, PyCD can change some complex uh, user predefined multi step Jenkins script like the above to something more human friendly like the one on the second that uh, PyCD pipeline. And uh, PyCD provide pre state defined, uh, which designed to follow the progressive delivery step. Uh, so um, one day our developer come and ask us to make some state that not just follow because their tasks sometimes require more than just uh, something like progressive delivery thing only, something like um, out of the box action like flux, uh, like uh, flux cache from other server or CDN as the deployment step. So uh, they asked to bring back script run, and the point is some, somehow they find a way to mess up everything again, uh, make the pipeline complicated, just like the old way Jenkins. So I think uh, one of the points is uh, tune, just tune, uh, to avoid complexity. Uh, everything should follow some kind of uh, convention. The second one about the latest update of PyCD is uh, plug-in architecture. Um, 
if uh, you guys remember I mentioned previously, uh, so far I see support progressive delivery for application of FireKai. Currently, it's uh, Kubernetes, Terraform, Amazon ECS, serverless like Crowdrun and Lambda. All of those uh, deploys uh, develop as the built-in provider in PyCD codebase. Uh, we want to make the PyP work with the platform provider as plugin so that the community can uh, define the platform provider at will. Um, let's, Leslie, uh, let's keep in touch. Um, I, um, we, we have a contribute fest session for PyCD on the day after tomorrow. Uh, please come and join if you feel interested and uh, want to learn more about the project. And um, also we have a project pavilions uh, kiosk this uh, Friday morning. Uh, just find me around if you want to discuss. And um, also I have here some uh, way to connect with the project. And uh, such as we are available on CNCF Slack uh, as PyCD. Also, uh, thing to note here is uh, we are on the way to get the first uh, 1,000 star from GitHub. Quite new here, so uh, please support if you like. Thank you. Have a great keep on.